Uh, hi, uh, so far we learned all the basic settings and uh, we also know uh, how to assign the tax procedure and we already having the tax procedure for the country code, uh, uh, our country code which is a, a DE and uh, if you see yeah so we don't need to assign any tax code so let's see now um, whether the there is any uh, zero tax codes uh, for the uh, our company code so to check that you can see on the postings so it's taking some time let me just uh, yeah so you can see here assign tax codes for non taxable transactions so you can see here so uh, let's see our company code TR03 so we don't have any tax code so let's see whether we have a D zero tax code here or not so we are going to assign it here so we do have this uh, input tax uh, which is a zero tax code so let's see which tax code uh, we will assign here um, and we have A0 and V0 which is a, a standard uh, uh, usually we use and uh, so that's the one I'm going to use as well and uh, 03 which is a A0 and this is a A0 sorry A0 so click save so we assign the zero tax codes for the our company code so now these are the basic settings and what is needed for the uh, FI so we already done so now let us see and uh, how to copy and uh, the GL accounts from one company code to another company code so I am not going to create any GLs manually so I would like to copy um, from the existing company code so this is a normal uh, transaction which you need to go to the easy access and you don't need to do using our SPR one so to do that you can go to the GL accounting and master data master records GL accounts and also there is a compare company code so there, there is a send and there is a receive so I just click on a send so I have created a, a variant so FS15 variant so you can see I am going to copy from all all the GL account from 0001 to TR03 so I would like to transfer all the information so if there is a, a, a let's say the selection to be transferred transfer master data transfer block indicator transfer deletion flag so let us say if this company code having any GL account was a, a blocking indicator or deletion flag that information also will be transferred so that's the reason I selected all these there is an option here transfer selected data and transfer data directly so now if you choose the transfer data directly if you check this it won't create any SM35 it will directly create in this company code so what I wanted to do is uh, I would like to create a SM35 batch so I enter uh, this is a standard batch program name usually shown here so if you want to know the program um, you can go to here a status and you can see uh, this is where um, the program uh, usually defaultly uh, provided by the SAP here so whenever uh, you go if you enter all this information the program will be shown and when after you execute the system will show that information uh, since I click the system and status and it's looking for the program and you can see this is the program for this T code so this is where uh, you can check using um, system status and then you can see all the information so this uh, having all the technical information you want to know the database and all this also it will be shown here so now I just click on execute so you will get some errors and uh, if there is any mm, what you call a GL accounts um, cannot be created or uh, so those cases yes the system will show some errors
also here so no, okay so the it is already created our batch input session which is a sm uh, 35 we can go now you can see slash o sm 35 system will create a new screen whenever you type uh, slash n and uh, followed by the transaction code so now um, the session name was uh, created so there is no terminations happen and uh, yeah yeah it's it's uh, here session name no termination have and uh, I go back so all these accounts is actually the one which is copy we are copying now so now let me see again uh, SM35 Did I select the update directly? I think so. One minute. Log indicator and all, and uh, go back. Check the file. Ah, so this is only checking the file. I don't want to. Uh, ch I check the file. Uh, it will. The system will check. Is any termination happened? Sorry about that. Actually, uh, I I did this checkbox. Uh, what this checkbox will do is, uh, it won't create any. Um, uh, you see. And the records uh, here it's it will check if there is any issue or and what are all the selected accounts and everything it will show so in our case um, we only check this so if you want to create a just a tr03 and click uh, execute so now uh, the system is uh, trying to generate uh, SM35 and you can see now uh, session session name is this open checked and uh, one session is created so when you go and uh, again maybe press enter the session will appear yeah so total how many accounts you can see these are the uh, accounts uh, is available so now I'm going to execute process and uh, my background I don't want to execute in the foreground so click on execute background so now our session is uh, processing so if you want to check the records, uh, you can double click and, and, and see the total records. So this is how the program is compiling and all this data. So this is how you can create a GL master data from one company code to another company code. So system is uh, searching for the log now and uh, yes you can see here if there is any errors so yeah so it says some errors let's see what are the errors formatting at 20 required fields so there is some errors uh, is actually happening since um, account not created in the chart of accounts int1 so it's only creating uh, some some accounts only so if you want to see how many it is created uh, this is total incorrect uh, is this many and remote is this and let's see the process is how many current content remote created so you can see 
this is uh, incorrect is this much to process this and processed uh, still not showing but let's see in a moment yeah so nothing is creating and uh, we need to check the reason behind this uh, should be we don't have a uh, group chart of accounts entries but here it shows the account is created transaction process successfully let's see let's um everything is processed uh, okay let's all uh, create so we just need to know how many still process zero process so it's uh, something weird total screens and it will show here okay now 735 let's fix this error and I will show you on how to fix this uh, as well if it is showing any errors here ah you can see but I am not so sure and uh, why the system shows here processed is zero it's something weird actually the process should show and um, how many success records but what I can see here is uh, this is many or processed and these many are errors so I am uh, I don't want to check all all those errors and if you really want to process the errors you can click and process and display errors only and process then the, uh, the system will show because uh, the short text is mandatory and all these are mandatory then the system is showing here the error and uh, okay so now uh, exit let me exit from this and to exit this when you are in any errors you can click on slash bend slash b e n d so it will go back so now what happened you are actually in the three so um, if you want to see all errors you just need to go session and you need to uh, release the session then uh, then the then the system will uh, show maybe all the errors or you can maybe processed sometimes if it is locked also you can release so let's see now how many GLs are created and uh, I am going to SC16 and SKB1 and uh, our company code which is a uh, TR03 so let's see whether how many accounts are created yes you can see here so the total accounts are created is uh, 506 accounts so these are the accounts are created by the system so now we are ready with the uh, uh, basic settings and master data uh, all 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 uh, this um, information which is uh, available in the different company code and I'm just uh, copied so now what I'm going to uh, do is uh, the next step for this is we want to post a document so how you can post a document in your FI so we have only done the basic settings we have a master data of GLs and uh, we have uh, created all tolerance for employees tolerance for GL and uh, all these um, setup and to create a document so let's say you want to create a, a normal um, expense uh, expense postings so how you can do that expense postings so for that actually you still need to do some settings and those settings mm, will be under GL accounting business transactions and here where you need to post um, the let's say sorry I wrongly clicked this actually it should be under financial accounting global setting and 
then you can see there is document and we have done posting periods or uh, variant and assign the posting period variance and all this now I'm just going here and document number in this what if you are having a new company code you can work with your business team to identify what document number they want to allocate for uh, the, the each um, you know, postings whether it's a vendor invoice customer invoice or a, a normal JV and all this but in case of um, our uh, trial system setup what I'm going to do is I am going to copy all the document number ranges which is uh, available uh, for a, a zero zero one two our tr03 so i don't want to um do any uh, creation and i just want to uh, copy all those so let's see now what happens here is um, when you look into these documents uh, you can see which which is the latest year so 9999 so now i want to copy this uh, from 9999 to my physical layer which is 2020 for TR03 999 and 2020 and click on uh, execute so these are the ones actually they are copied by the uh, system and also I would like to copy it to my next year which is 21 as the same number range so the system is copied the same number range so if you see how to check those document numbers um, using a normal T code which is slash n uh, bn1 so you can go here wow view now I want to give my own object which is a tr03 so here you can see so now you can see 2020 2021 and uh, uh, the other uh, years here so now when you see this you not maybe noticed what is this 9999 see actually the 999 is um the the system automatically if you don't maintain uh, don't want to have a, a different uh, number ranges for the year and you want to follow sequence number across the different physical years then uh, you can maintain 9999 then the system will automatically take um, the continuous numbering across the physical years so it will not restart from the every year so in this case uh, it depends on the requirement uh, for the uh, companies and also in the the pre systems so now we have done all the uh, GL settings so now I would like to post a normal journal transaction sorry I just for so GL transaction document entry FB 50 so hope we don't get any errors and let's see So we are posting our first transaction in the system. So zero one zero one twenty zero zero one zero one twenty twenty. So now our company code is how to change the company code. Just click on the company code. TR03 and the company code is changed. So now it's clear 0, 0. Now let's see the expense. So what I do, expense. I would like to put, let's say, some corporate income tax. So since we started a company, let's say we have a legal social expenses. So it makes sense because we incorporated 
we may incurred uh, when you are doing first uh, 1000 and uh, here bank So let's see. Dutch bank, maybe. Oh, I think. Let me find the bank normally without giving any thing. I would like to give here bank clearing. So let me see. Do we have any bank account? Okay, let me find it um, instead of checking. BNK. Yeah, we don't have any bank account. Uh, maybe, yes, we'll create later. So, for the time being, uh, I just. Um, What account is uh, provision? Um, let's see. Let me find another thing here. One minute. Sorry about that. Bank. Bank charge just uh, doesn't make sense actually. So for this. Okay, let us do this way. Maybe why don't we just uh, create a, a bank account? And um, uh, I don't see any bank account here. Um, since I don't see any bank account, since uh, uh, I will, I would like to create one bank account. So go to create a bank account. You need to go to F zero zero, and. Um, I would like to create uh, maybe starting uh, with any number five zero zero one zero zero maybe since it's a balance sheet maybe why don't I put uh, One three zero one zero create create so here I would like to create a liquidity fund accounts liquidity fund here uh, anything else. This is cash and cash equivalent, so I would say City Bank. This is a main account. Okay, main account. So go back here, hero. So I usually we, we should not select them. The only balance in local currency, and if you are having a local currency here, so this should not be open item management. And uh, the short key I usually um, give 
uh, should be anything um, you say a value date uh, should be the stop key so I just put a 27 okay so here um, since it's a um, bank account so obligatory value date relevant for cash flow and the house bank and all uh, we will be coming into the next session so press ok and click on save okay it says um, group account number is a uh, mandatory here since uh, this chart of accounts is uh, a group is uh, mandatory So since it's a consolidated account, so we need to go for a chart of account which is a consolidation. So the bank uh, is, uh, let's say, is there anything for the bank? Um, let me find. let me see the banks cash on hand cash um, liquidity accounts so financial uh, so I don't have okay let's see I don't want to make it much complicated I don't see any uh, banks here so since it's a cash and cash equivalents so let's say it should be the cash account click on save now hope no error the account will be created so the account is created so another one as a I would like to create another account one three zero zero one zero and uh, TR03. So this account is not a main account. This is a clearing. TRG. Incoming. Coming. Clearing account. So here, this is a incoming clearing account. I just say clearing account. So click save. So there's another one. Oh, sorry. Here for the clearing account should be open item checkbox must be there. Yeah. Just keep to keep note of this and uh, click save. Oh, this is not a balance sheet account. Oh, okay. Actually, I didn't choose. I think let me change my zero. Also, sorry about that. I think uh, it should be a balance sheet account. It should not be the P and L. I never. Uh, okay. So now another account is two. So with the template again, I have one. So this is the outgoing. So let's say outgoing. Click save. So now we created three accounts. So one is a clearing account, and uh, so now what I'm going to use this is outgoing one three zero one one two. So now it's another error which came. Um, so we need to check 
for posting period variant b y six when we go you can check all the settings uh, for the tr zero three so here we have a posting period variant tr zero three so whether we open the posting period so you need to check o b fifty two let's say tr zero three we don't have one right so in this case I don't want to I just want to copy anything which is actually we used one until 2021 is uh, this is the one uh, so I would like to copy which is already here yeah then uh, change it to my company which is uh, TR03 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 so we are not open any posting periods but uh, we have created a posting period variant so in this year um, yeah we need to save so when you save it the system shows an error uh, here for you um, but in the case of uh, yeah so now uh, we have opened the posting period for the posting so now when you click on save and um, sometimes the system will ask the transport request and uh, this will not happen and in, in the production system and this will only happen in the test system or development it depends on that you need to contact the basis team sometimes and saying okay we don't need transport for the test then they they, they should need to exclude this um, from the uh, transport uh, request generation yeah so now um, we have uh, created our clearing account for outgoing payment so now I click uh, enter the posting period is adjusting I click enter again so it says um, yeah because we are already uh, let me see whether we have created a the account what is created and uh, let me just quickly go back uh, you know. so actually we created this account not the account which is a uh, this one oh, yeah, sorry about that and uh, yeah so we have to go here click account press enter so just put a credit entry and the value date may be after uh, two days zero two zero one twenty twenty then uh, now you can see here these are the total debits and the total credits and uh, I just put a star enter so now click simulate so before saving I would like to um, show you some information whether let's see a cost center mandatory for the profit and loss account or not so here um, yeah it's it's not mandatory so uh, let's see I will try to save it why I check is because we have not done any controlling uh, setup so it's just a uh, only a, a, a pure FI posting and it's saying um, no item category assigned to the account so is it a new GL one minute okay so currently it is showing another um, item category did not assign because uh, the in the new GL account and um, the system is actually activated so let us see how we can overcome this kind of situation when you are have using some idea system uh, if you have okay so let's go to the uh, classic uh, document types so here so uh, when you go to the classic document types you can see document type SA so here the document type SA is here so here we are having this is a item category transaction variant and all these uh, um, uh, available here so what I'm going to do is because um, uh, my company code don't have any new GL setup or we don't need any document splitting and all this so for this case 
I do need um, a new document type so in this case what I'm going to do is uh, I need to create a new document type for this maybe uh, I don't want to go into the financial accounting new I will do this using my you can do either way both, both should be the same but uh, since I am trying you on using a, a normal um, setup so let's say document type different document type and now I copy as here so copy as a as a as one my reversal also I will copy later and I will change huh? that would uh, makes sense so now click okay it's copied then again a B I copy as a a one Maybe I copy a put a one and here a one also. So maybe I'm just so let's go now save. So I'm using the same document the uh, number range and everything, so I'm not going to have a separate uh, number ranges. So yeah, transport request as usual it generated. So I'm using the same transport. So let me go whether our document type uh, A1 as a created or not. So let's see A1. Mm. S1, S1 created. A1 not created. A B copy I will copy again put as a a1 so a1 also copied because as due to some error it is not created so after creating this I'm going to change a1 as a a1 here okay save it go back and uh, s1 also use a a1 so now since I copy this so let me see whether this document type having an option for me in the new GL accounting whether it is uh, activated with the document splitting or not so for this I need to go to the document type classify document type a1 is blank so we have to ensure this is blank and S1 also a blank so now I'm going to use my document type so I will go back I will try to execute again so here is the one I just put S1 sorry it's not a1 it's actually the s1 s1 so now I put a zero in the zero and this is a debit this is a credit 1000 and this is star and here value date yeah you can put some assignment or if it is needed I don't want so so now simulate document is simulated now click on save mm, I think it okay so what happens here we already check this document type we are using it doesn't have so let me choose So here the online document fitting active system here each document is assigned to action variant okay let me see 
do this. Let me go again. Mm -hmm. So the another reason uh, is the activate document splitting. Since we copied, yeah. So zero zero one inactive. Let's see tr zero three. Tr zero three is not active is active so what I do is um, yeah so we didn't check this setup uh, so yeah the activate per company but I don't want any document splitting so I put as a inactive and click on save click OK so now let's say we can create press enter so simulate click on save okay and I will re-execute again I'm using the same uh, b50 and uh, 4004 debit and the credit 1000 star validate press simulate save it let's see how the system is um, posting the entry Yeah, we are able to force the document. Congratulations. Yeah, we can see now. Yeah. Let's display the document which is posted. Finally, yes, we are able to force the document. You can go to the display GL view. This is a GL view. So we do have only and uh, we don't have any ledger groups. So this is only the our ledger is the entry view. You can see the entry view now. So this is how the system is posted and uh, in the in the new AHP seven. It is uh, seven. Yeah, you can see there's a posting is already generated. Okay, so this is a simple setup uh, for a, a GL. And uh, yeah, thank you, thank you for watching uh, my videos. And uh,